I have come here to chew bubble gum and shave. And I'm all out of bubble gum. All right. Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. If you are new to the project, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. And for this shave of the week, we're going to use Noble Otter Neon Sun. And this is a tallow based soap. I'm quite certain I paid $22 for four ounces of soap. Here are the scent notes. I don't know if you can see that. I'll get it to focus. But we have lime, bergamot, oak moss, patchouli, and musk. We'll talk about the uh, scent characteristics more during the video, but let's take a look at the ingredients. What do we have here that is high quality? Beef tallow, coconut milk, glycerin, coconut oil, avocado oil, cocoa butter, mango seed butter, lanolin. Let's see here. Anything else? Vitamin E, aloe vera, and it does look like that's about it. So, good soap from Noble Otter. So we're gonna take a uh, shaving soap that is not at all offensive and we're going to chase it with an aftershave that is very offensive youp ohm and this is a frankly repulsive cherry woody cough syrupy sort of thing <laughs> i have no idea why i like this but i do for some reason i just i really like this so that'll be the aftershave for today and this stuff lingers. I mean, it lingers and it lingers and it lingers. It's like a one night stand that won't leave in the morning. <laughs> All right. The razor we're gonna use, if you thought I was being a dork there, then wait for this. We're gonna use my Gillette Atra with an Atra Plus cartridge attached to it. And this is an H1, so first quarter of 1987. So Gillette Atra. Then we're going to use this brush from Mojo Handcrafts. This is my Miami Vice brush with the 26 millimeter Maggard SHD Badger bulb on the top of it. So Mojo Handcrafts brush for the brush today. So let's get all this together and let's do a shave. Okay, here we have the soap at the bottom of the bowl. And here is what the pour looks like. Minus the little cutout from the soap I put into the bowl. So we have the brush and we have the spray bottle. So let's put about 10 sprays in here today. And we'll see. I probably need to add more water, but let's just start with that. Now, Noble Otter's uh, soap base. I am not certain that it has a name. I looked on their website. But it's definitely a high quality soap base. It'll take care of your face uh, during the shave, no problem at all. Slick, it's got good protection, it's easy to lather. I'm just going to just load it down. I've had a couple people comment that uh, I'm not lathering my soaps nearly enough, so we'll just see what we can get away with then. How about that? smell is really projecting. I can uh, I can smell this uh, from 12 inches away from the bowl to my face without getting anywhere near it, so that's always good. It looks like it's taking the water without a lot of trouble. It's not getting airy or sudsy or losing its uh, its structure. And we might be 
getting towards a uh, towards a good lather. Let's see, have a look here. Oh yeah, I think that's good to go. That is plenty of high quality lather from Noble Otter. All right, let's do the shave. All right, I have all sorts of filthy, hairy, mangy five days of growth. So let's put a pre-shave on the face and then we'll get the shave started. Pre-shave we're gonna use today is going to be the Razor Rock Lime pre-shave. This thing's been sitting around for a while collecting dust, so I figured as long as I'm using a soap that's slightly limey, I may as well use the Razor Rock Lime pre-shave. Work that in just a little bit. And let's put the soap on the face. <clears throat> Scent strength on this is a two out of three. So medium scent strength, you'll have no trouble smelling this. I think I made this a little too thin. In my personal opinion, I had a little too much water. But tell me what you think. Feedback is always appreciated. I'm sure it'll work. But I tend to prefer a thicker lather than this. But I don't want my viewers to think I'm not listening to their comments. I am. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to see how it goes. Okay, now, Gillette Atra with a fresh Atra Plus blade and five days of growth. Let's get started. There's a slight amount of tugging, but it's actually uh, cutting all this without a lot of trouble, believe it or not. So let's talk about the scent of Noble Otter Neon Sun. Oh goodness, what do I want to say about this? Um, it's quite the bath soapy sort of affair. It's got this limey sort of uh, front note to it. And as you get through the sniff, it turns into kind of a musky bath soap in, in a pretty fast hurry. The scent character of it is just okay. I could pretty much take it or leave it. It definitely has a dated 1980s sort of smell. Like I own a lot of uh, 80s and early 90s uh, colognes and fragrances and things like that. And this has the same kind of characteristics as those. It's slightly floral. The patchouli is kind of eking through just a little bit. Uh, but mostly it has this very creamy, soapy kind of, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I can't think of it now. It was just off the top of my head, but I'll, I'm sure I'll think of it in a minute. But And I think it's the musk. I think it's the musk and the patchouli and the, where is it? Oak moss. The oak moss and the musk are kind of giving it this, uh, this soapiness to it. All right, that was a good first pass with the Gillette Atra without a lot of trouble. I'm actually not somebody who, like, when I shave with a cart, I don't tend to get bad shaves with them. I didn't start uh, traditional shaving because I was having problems with cartridge razors. I just think uh, double-edged and single-edged razors provide a better shave. Okay, dropped it in the water. 
Let's see what we can accomplish with this with another pass. Let's do cross the grain like usual. This Gillette Atra is doing just fine. The, the tugging on this, the characteristic like pulling that you get is pretty minimal. I'm finding that I don't have to press that hard. Like for all this talk about, every time they come up with a new razor with more and more blades, they just think it's it's just that much better than the next one. But I think I think they got it right, you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago. They figured it out. Cause this is really comfortable actually. A couple of people are probably screaming at their at their screens right now going, how dare you use a cartridge razor? But this one's always done done a good job. It's not as efficient as a sensor. You do have to press harder than a Gillette sensor. I don't know what it is about the sensor, but it is just Essence of cartridge efficiency is what that is. The lather is very slick. Noble Otter is good stuff. I have trouble finding scents that I'm in love with, but as far as performance, this has got to be in the top 10 performing soaps I've ever seen. The scent is dated without being old timey. Like this is not PAA sundown. It's not, it's not at all fuddy duddy. But it doesn't smell like something that would be released today. Like a lot of a lot of fragrances are are going the way of like Blue de Chanel and Dior Sauvage and things like that. Versace Dylan Blue. So that is not at all what this is. This is definitely a blast from the past, but it's not like It's not grandpa's scent. Let's put it that way. Well, look at that. See, I nicked myself even with a cart. I'm gonna blame that on pressing too hard and going too fast. But, this feels like a good shave, so. That'll be the end of the shave, so I'm going to take a Ellen Block to this, and then we're going to come back for the aftershave. Okay, time for the Omega Ellen Block report card for today. And let's put it on the face and see how we did. So far, so good. No stinging. No feedback down here. No feedback across here or on the chin. Now right here, I got two nicks that are very close together and that does sting. So it looks like that was the hot spot for today. But other than that, it was a pretty good shave and a good Allen Block report card here in the Soap Thing Project. Okay, time for some Yoop Ohm. This stuff is putrid. Ugh. I love it. I'm gonna do a shave and then go to work and choke everybody out. Woo! Okay. Now, my final thoughts on Noble Otter Neon Sign, which is right here. If I exhausted this to an empty tub, would I buy it again? Ugh. I don't know. 
I know that's not what people are expecting. This is supposed to be a binary yes or no, but I, I just don't know. It's very... It's like a limey, zingy, musky, soapy, slightly powdery pain in my ass that I want to love, and I kind of do. But I really got to... This is something I got to be in the mood for, and I know I won't always be in the mood for it. So... I know that's not what people like to hear, but the short answer is I just don't know. So I'm going to have to use it more and see uh, see how much it agrees with me. So we'll just leave it at that. So that'll be the shave for today. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.